Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. So in this short video I'm going to be showing you how you can use JavaScript to create a new HTML element and insert it into the DOM. And I'll also be showing you how you can give that new element an ID, how you can define its class list or set any other kind of attribute on the element. So the way you go about creating a new element is to access the document object and on that call the create element method. Now what you need to pass into this method is a string specifying what type of HTML element it is that you want to create. So any valid HTML element type will do. So you could create, for example, a div or a paragraph or an input element. So in this example, I'm going to be creating a new paragraph. So to do that, I'm going to create a reference to the new paragraph I've created in a variable. And now I can insert this element in the DOM using either the append or append child method. So I'm going to be using append and I'm going to be appending the paragraph I just created inside the content div in the body of my document. So to do that, I need to first of all select the content div. So I'll do that by its ID. And then I call the append method on that element and I insert into there the reference to the paragraph I created. Now, if I take a look in the browser, you'll see that the paragraph exists in the DOM. So there's no content in it, so you can't see it, but here it is. So an empty paragraph element isn't that much good to anybody. So I'll add some text and I'll show you how you can add an ID to the new paragraph element and also define a class attribute. So for the text, I'm going to set the value of text content to some text. Now to set the value of any attribute on the element, you can call the set attribute method on the element and this accepts two arguments. So the first argument is the attribute that you want to set, the name of the attribute. So for example, you could say ID here and the second argument is the value that you want to give to that attribute. So in this case, I'll call it element insert and I can do exactly the same to set the class list. So the first argument here would be class and then I set the value of that. So I haven't set any CSS classes that correspond to what I'm entering here. These are just for example, so we can see if they exist in the class list. So I'm going to save this now and let's take a look at how this is in the browser now. So the text has been added and importantly, you can see that the ID of element insert has been added and there's also a class list on the paragraph element now. Now finally, there's some shorthand that you can use if you like to set the ID of the element. So you don't have to write out set attribute and enter the values. You can set the ID by setting the value of the ID property on the element. So I'm going to call that element insert. So even though I've commented out this line above, element insert should still be there when I refresh in the browser. So again, element insert is there. So I'm just doing the same thing in a different way. So that's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, please consider hitting the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.